my hands before I get started. So, my take on the whole corona thing is just because there's coronavirus. I mean, I can't feel kind of cute. Like, I will wear accessories. I want to dress somewhat nice. Like, I don't feel like dressing comfortably all the time. Just to me, comfort is kind of dressing up and feeling good. It's kind of like keeping up morale. Like, I don't know. Okay. The only thing that I can say that's kind of silver lining about this whole enchilada is it kind of reminds me of, like, during the Second World War where everybody was mobilizing and kind of being positive, like, for the war effort. We're all fighting corona. Just, maybe that's how I feel, but I feel like every day... I feel like we have to try and keep everything safe and I just don't know. Is this I am not a health expert on corona. But all I have to say is I'm not happy with it. Life was perfection before Corona. All that talk about this, that, and the other. I'm not saying that America was perfect before Corona, but I'm going to tell you this. When we get out of this, if we do, like, if it subsides, I'm so much more an independent voter, but it solidified the fact that I believe nobody is correct when it comes to politics, and no one person is gospel. It has solidified that for me. So let me find a bowl of the things where it is. There's no gospel in politics, and who even cares anyway to some degree? Except personal life is political to some degree because I do worry about businesses. And just if we're really honest about everything, you can do shelter and stay, you can stay away, but if if you use any kind of service to deliver groceries or anything, any kind of item that comes into your house, somebody cuts shit in the outside world, so yes, you can sanitize things, but social distancing is good to some degree. I'm doing a live stream where I'm making broccoli. So yeah. I don't know what to tell people because I... Let the health experts tell you. All I know is I'm trying to follow regulations or guidelines on social distancing as much as possible. I mean, I guess it's good that I'm not dating anybody right now because I'm like, I was thinking of this, like, if you, I don't know, like, almost thinking about getting out there again, but I guess it's good I'm not, right? <laughs> But there has been some weird behavior on apps when it comes to, okay, just uh, all of a sudden, like, I was looking at the Facebook app, and a lot of people, like, were, like, I got more likes than usual, and it made me think, is that just because people are, like, having to take time off work or something, and they're bored, I don't know, and then... Like, I feel, I feel safe walking. I do, because you need to build up your respiratory system. But there was this one guy, like, he just kind of gave me this odd look. I don't know, maybe, it didn't look like he was looking to see I was crossing the street. I felt like, I don't know, he didn't say anything, but he was pulling out. So, I, I don't know. Maybe he was just looking to pull out. I can't say. I just have noticed there's, like, more... People liking. I don't try all the other apps anymore. I looked at the Facebook free <laughs> dating app, and I don't think I'm going out and meet anybody anytime soon. That's one thing. Like, well, that kind of killed it for me because, like, do you want to meet anybody new? No, no, no. I guess not. <laughs> I guess all the. It's funny too because everybody said electronic life wasn't real. Like these aren't real things, but now. Yeah, they're actually real things, because how are they telling us to communicate with each other? Remember they said, 
oh, we should limit social, like, we should put down our devices and interact. Isn't it just funny how the world changed? It changed like that. They, they were like, yeah, you should go outside, interact more with your communities, join a group, go to church, all these different things. Don't, don't spend all your time on social media. Don't. But now, like, you have to do all these things on Zoom or Facebook or, you know. Anyway. You want to hear some choppy chop ASMR? Here, the choppy. Ooh, there goes the knife straight. straight. I needed to use a, this broccoli because it's going to go bad soon if I don't. So, that's another thing too. I don't know. Do I try to start a container garden again? I don't get a lot of sunlight where I live, but it kind of makes me think, should I try maybe? Maybe. Uh, perhaps. We'll see. I guess nobody really watches these when I do it on my other single channel because, you know. Another thought I had about <laughs> shelter in place, is there going to be a baby boom in San Francisco after this? Like for all the people that are in relationships? Probably. Another thought too, do you ever gossip like those things too, like with all this coronavirus things going around, like anybody who gossips or just makes fun of anybody, like for any reason? I don't know. Maybe you should rethink that. Like, but I don't think people do. I think people just are who they are. But it's okay. You kind of just have to be really strong in all things. And you have to learn not to touch your face. Like, look, I'm going to do this. But I try not to touch my face unless I wash my hands. And I'm going to be honest with you. I always used to touch my face. I'm not a germaphobe. This thing, oh, this is another thing about Corona. All the germaphobes are in their element right now. Like, I get it. This is how we contain germs, but they were always the people that were constantly sanitizing things. I mean, we would wipe things down and I would wash my hands. I've used hand sanitizer a lot, but I mean, I was just never really a germaphobe because I mean, in the past, like they were always like, you do need some immunity to things, but some people now are saying, well, there's no immunity to, to the coronavirus, which yes, we know that. We know that there's absolutely no immunity to that. I mean, but I just, I think there has to be some balance here. Like, we have to think about the future. Shelter in place, like how, how long, how long, how long do we shelter in place? So after 21 days, do we automatically all leave? Or do restaurants automatically come back? Or is this going to get worse? I mean, I guess I just need to be positive, like,
because I think we like continuity, and I, that's another thing too. Like modern society is pretty awesome. It's pretty good. I'm appreciative of everything in modern life now. I'm like, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying that other ways of being, other philosophies don't have validity, but modern life's pretty flippin' awesome. I value everybody's quality of life. I mean, I just think society was pretty good the way it was now. There's some people on social media that should be ashamed of themselves. They're, like, they're actually dividing in how they think that this pathogen is targeting people of a certain age, like baby boomers, the ageism. It's pretty sick. In California, there's people that have COVID-19 that are in their 30s, 40s, 50s. People that are not boomers, okay? Well, maybe the people in their 50s would be the tail end but they're more Generation X. So, I just think with all these things going on, we should be ashamed of ourselves if... We really should. Like, just making fun of people and in person, social media, gossip isn't nice. And this is one thing I've always known about myself. I don't gossip. Like anybody who, like when I realized some things, like during recent situations, I realized somebody wasn't a friend at all. Like when they said that something I said about myself was gossip. And then I knew they would never have my back. They could never be in my court. Because I could be, if I'm in somebody's friend, friend, I can be in their court. And if somebody says, someone who's really nice like me says that something I said was gossip or negative, like, in that situation, this is where I have closure in that. They didn't have any respect for me. Like, they looked down upon me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. That's fine. They put their needs above everybody's and that's fine people can do that but I just because I've never gossiped about anyone but I'm just I'm I mean I may have told I may say when something hurts my feelings but other people get to do that that's the thing you have to be strong cooking in your land if you realize right away that someone doesn't like accept you for who you are or tells you that you have to say things differently or something you say is not good enough or that they don't like something you say then it's like cut the cord it sounds horrible but it's true because you have value too you as a person have value 127 percent so yeah i still have friends it's just Maybe after COVID-19, I kind of would like to, maybe, I was thinking about doing more social things, like going to some WordPress meetups and things like that, and trying to meet new people. Like, I actually was kind of considering in the next two weeks, but I guess COVID-19 kind of threw, I mean, I'm not like the most social person, but I just kind of threw a wrench in that. I've been up since 3. It's okay when I get home and when I go to bed early tonight. I can only sleep so many hours in the morning before I wake up. On a day I don't have to go anywhere, then yes, I can sleep 8 hours.
ingredients. I'm just going to throw whatever. I was always so big on not wanting to waste any drop, but now I can like, yeah, get it all in there. I have an avocado. I've been in the fridge for a while. Oh! It's flipping perfect. Okay. I'm trying to conserve my paper towels. So we always use um, washcloths anyway. And yes, they look blah. But you know, you wash them a lot. And you can use them for like wiping down the kitchen and whatnot. It's perfect. And then I want to try some of this avocado because it looks so yummy. Because foods with fat are actually they're very good for you. Mmm. But vegetables aren't. Never used fish eating, so yeah, I'm gonna eat some of this avocado. I was thinking about adding it to the broccoli, but I think I'm just gonna eat it by itself. Why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna eat that by itself. some tomatoes I hadn't used up. I'm glad I had all this stuff from before. From before and I've been meaning to like food prep and I just can't get myself in the mojo to do it. And some people are probably like, oh well this is just so weird when people do things online. But now they're telling us to do everything online. <laughs> I think about my friend who works in the medical field. Does she get to do social distancing? She works in the flip-flop medical field. I think about people, like all these people that have to, have to help people. It's kind of your duty when you have a position or you work with the public to help people. I just, you have to do it. So, like I was saying on my other channel, I feel like social distancing is just not realistic for everybody. I mean, we can try this and see if it slows things down. Hopefully it does. I mean, I really hope it does. I truly hope so. I guess everybody's taking their vacation now.
Here they go in. for a second.
I'm back. Well, I think somebody watched for a minute and then they went away, but that's okay. So. I, uh, I should have shared this before I started it. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to do this to entertain myself now. Not my big finger or anything, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. I'm gonna try and wrap it well. It's a good thing that we still have some of this stuff. <laughs> I need to use it.
need to use up the food we have. Sweep everything into the sink. salt for it. Did I? I need salt, so I'll put some of this buffalo sauce in it. There we go. Let's use it up. It for now, I don't think anybody watched because there was nobody here. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>